Hi there, I'm Kelly Renicki, chef, blogger, cookbook author, and mother of five great kids, including one with life-threatening or severe food allergies. I love entertaining and having my friends and family come together to celebrate, but one thing that can be challenging is preparing meals for people with food allergies. That's why I'm partnering with Mylan and the Get Schooled in Anaphylaxis program to share with you one of my favorite allergy-friendly recipes, chocolate sugar cookies. They're incredibly delicious and can work for many types of occasions, whether for Valentine's Day, a birthday, or even just an after-school snack, and my kids love them. And the best part is they are free of many common food allergens, so let's get cooking. The first step is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees then, line two baking sheets with parchment paper. This not only makes sure your cookies don't stick to the pan, but makes for an easy cleanup. Now we're gonna start mixing our ingredients. In your electric mixer bowl, you're gonna throw in one cup of softened dairy-free margarine with one and a half cups of sugar. You're gonna to wanna to mix this just until it's light and fluffy. Then add one half cup unsweetened applesauce and two and a quarter teaspoons vanilla extract and mix well. Applesauce is actually one of my favorite substitutes for eggs. You can feel free to use your own homemade applesauce, but the store-bought kind will work just fine here too. In here in a separate bowl, we're gonna combine our dry ingredients. So we're gonna start with three cups of unbleached all-purpose flour, or you can use a gluten-free flour blend if that works better for you. And to this, we're gonna add three-fourths of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then just whisk it all together. We're gonna to take these dry ingredients and bring it over here to our wet ingredients. And we're gonna go ahead and mix this up just until it's incorporated. Don't over mix. Refrigerate the dough for at least an hour or even overnight. And if you're strapped for time, pop it into the freezer for 30 minutes or so. This will help make the dough much easier to spread and make sure the cookies become soft and tender when baked. I actually prepared another batch earlier today that's just about ready. Once you've rolled the dough out onto a lightly floured surface, go ahead and take your cookie cutter, dip it into the flour, and then cut the dough into your favorite shapes and top it with some of your favorite allergy-friendly sprinkles. Pop this into the oven for about 10 to 13 minutes or just until set. Let them cool and then they'll stay fresh for about two days or so. If you're serving them at a party, I'd like to include an ingredient card in front of the tray so everyone knows exactly how they were made. Of course, even if you're making a recipe that's free of many common allergens, allergens aren't always obvious. That's why it's so important that anyone living with or responsible for a child with severe allergies is aware of the signs and symptoms of a life-threatening allergic reaction, can help those at risk to avoid allergens at all times, and is ready to use an epinephrine auto-injector and seek immediate emergency medical attention if anaphylaxis occurs. I encourage you to visit anaphylaxis101.com to learn more about life-threatening allergies and to download more allergy-friendly recipes like these tasty cookies.